A group of concerned citizens from Ward 3 and 4 have come together to embark on a project to repair the roads of their community, also known as Ghost Town. Uh, I grew up in this community. Uh, a lot of people did a lot of things for me, my family. So that is actually the main motivation that actually made us to take this commitment, a decision to do what we can do. We want to eradicate the problem because we always had tire problems, ball joints, but we are here a non-political group that would like to uplift our community, the needs and look after and assist where we can in the community. As you can see, their work comes as a result of their battle with Makana Municipality to take action. We cannot wait until things are, have changed and, and we sometimes you need to start and, and, and uh, you know, initiate the change. And seeing that the circumstances of the country and the government and the, com and the different communities in South Africa uh, has driven us to, to take up the space. Well, we, we have a few guys working, doing the actual work of, on, on, on closing the roads and uh, fixing the potholes. And you can also see that the, the difference in those guys' attitude and their behavior. Instead of now maybe going early in the morning to go and have a smoke or look for a smoke, they will report for work and the whole day we will keep them busy. And after a full day's work, you can see the satisfaction on their faces. Although the work on site is supervised by Mr. Weston and his colleagues, volunteers from the community take part in digging up the holes and laying the concrete. We spoke to Paul Pico, one of the men who has been part of the project. And <laughs> Onself ook in strongman. Als een vriend van mij te karom kar kan hij wat eindelijk rennen nou. Want ze doen ook het voor ons ook, voor ons zelf ook. Ik maak een verschil in de community en en ik blij ook eindelijk in. Maar voel bij haar goed van van klein daar wil ook bij de community. The concerned citizens road repair committee is playing their part in building a better Grahamstown. Western de Places reflects on his most rewarding moment. Uh, I think my most uh, memorable memory so far is just the appreciation that you see from the concerned citizens, uh, community members within, within our area, uh, motorists driving past, and, and even some of the kids that are now able to walk or and you ride on their bicycles freely. Uh, there is sometimes that you need to take ownership and, and, and just, just pick, pick up uh, uh, a spade and do some of the work yourself to get things going. Community initiatives such as these only prove to be sustainable when everyone comes together to develop solutions. This is Ethel and Shakira reporting from Ghost Town, Grahamstown.